Ridge beam has now been cleaned up so we can see the extent of the rot, not only in the beam itself but also in the rafters that were supposed to join onto it. And you can see there, when we get to the middle, the rot above that king post, so that also is going to have to be replaced. But it's staggering that this roof has managed to stay up and really the only reason it stayed up is because of those temporary repairs that were done in 2017 just to take the weight from these failing timbers down onto those main beams running across the nail. So what we've got here is a big hole where the principal rafter used to be and it went from the end of this main cross beam up to that king post in the middle. And because it's so badly rotten, it's going to have to be replaced. And with me today is Rick, the lead carpenter on this job. And he's just going to tell us a little bit about the timber that was taken out and what they're going to do to it. So Rick, what are you going to do to help us replace this timber? Well, as you can see, it is badly decayed at both ends. Let's go down and have a closer look. Um, if we turn that over. So this is the side of the principal rafter. This is the connection where the purlin used to meet it. This is the, side, the seat cut where it sits on that principal beam. Now, when it was well, originally, it had a tenon here, a considerably long tenon that sat in that mortise over there. And as you can see, the tenon has completely decayed. And unfortunately, because quite a section of the rafter has gone as well, we're not going to be able to easily repair this. So the structural engineer has deemed that we need to replace this one. You okay? Yeah, he got, yes. Gently, just gently. Watch that yes. cable, that corbel doesn't drop. That's it, you're right. So Rick, as we look at this roof, and, and certainly I've been up there and seen how the ridge timbers just sort of come apart in your hands, it's just dust really, is this a challenging job or is this pretty much run of the mill for you guys? Certainly not the worst I've been working on. Um, because I understand how the components go together, it, it, it's, the, the real challenge is if there's heavy members and carefully taken them away, you know, because we need to conserve. Um, some members will have to be replaced, as we've just discussed, but, but generally we like to dismantle carefully and then we can get any measurements we need and so on. Is there a if, risk when you're actually taking things to bits that the whole lot could collapse or...? No, no, because no, you, you, you thoroughly go through it first, make sure that we're not undermining the building in any way. If we need to put in temporary bracing, that's what we would do. Okay. So when you're looking at something that's more or less completely been eroded, and you're just having to do your best to work out how it was and how long it was and perhaps that's the hardest bit is getting the accurate measurements in yes. that case. Yes. I mean where they they've they have decayed badly in the centre, but we can get our measurements for the mortises. So that's the most important thing. Right, okay. Good, well thank you. We'll come and follow this work as it as it progresses. Look forward to that.